Okay, for the warm-up today, we're gonna start with five pike handstand push-ups. Walk yourself into a pike position, head comes down in front of your fingertips, and you push it back towards your legs as you press back up with your arms. After that, you're gonna go right into 10 spider peoples, also called groiners, spider man, spider womans. Bring that foot up outside of your opposite side hand and drop your hip down to the ground for a little bit. After we've done that, we're gonna get into 10 side plank reach throughs. So we'll reach our arm all the way through and then bring it up to the ceiling. Try not to hit your wall as you do that. Focus on really getting some rotation through your thoracic spine as you go each time. We're gonna go 10 of those on each side. Take your time, don't just wave your hand around. Make sure you're moving under control. Like if somebody told you to stop at any moment along the way, you could immediately freeze in place. And we're gonna finish the warm up off with 20 lateral dumbbell hops. For these hops, biggest thing, Make sure you don't step on the dumbbell and fall over two feet one side, little hop over again. If you wanna just do it over a line, that's fine as well. What's up everybody? Happy Friday and welcome to week two of your Z-Press Cossack Squat combo strength portion of your workout. Right. <laughs> What's going on today is every two minutes for 16 minutes, you will give me eight single arm Z presses into eight Cossack squats. Uh, let's say last week, you didn't quite get the prescribed reps, so you didn't get six reps on your Z presses. No worries. Uh, if you got five last week, try to get six this week. If you got four, try to get five, so on and so forth, right? So you just wanna try to increase the reps that you got for that. If you used a band last week, feel free to use a band again. Uh, when you're doing those Cossack squats, hold that weight in the goblet position in your chest. We're gonna have a good time. For that Z press, sit with your torso straight over your hips. Big press up of the dumbbell, full lockout at the top with your bicep near your ear, legs straight the whole time. You're gonna go eight in one round and then get into your Cossack squats. Start with your non-dominant side, make sure your weaker side can handle it, and then let your stronger side uh, match that as well. For the Cossack squat, you'll be in a goblet position. Remember, these are all to one side. Sit into a full squat. Heel stays down. Opposite side leg stays flat on the ground, long with your toe pointed forward the whole time. All eight to one side in each round. All right, y'all, now that we are done with our strength portion, we're moving on to part two. Uh, for your workout today, it's gonna be four times. You're starting with 10 reps, going all the way to one, of burpees and tuck jumps. So you're gonna go 10 burpees, 10 jumps, 10 tuck jumps, nine, nine, eight, eight, so on and so forth, till you've got one and one. Then we're gonna switch it, starting at one, moving all the way up to 10 of burpees and V-ups. So you're gonna go one burpee, one V-up, two burpees, two V-ups, so on and so forth, until you finish your 10 burpees, 10 V-ups. This workout is meant to get your heart rate up. However, you should never reach a point where you have to bend over, keel over, and just sit for like five minutes, right? You wanna keep moving throughout this entire workout. Have fun. <laughs> Everybody's favorite burpee is get down on the ground, get on up, jump and clap. If you need to take the push up out of the burpee, that's fine as well. Belly stays tight, hands just outside shoulder width. You can jump in. If you like, you can walk your feet in. You can walk your feet up. However you like to do it, just try to keep moving consistently throughout all of your burpees. All right, y'all, so for the tuck jumps, just jump, pull your knees up as high as you can. And for these V-ups, you can do a V-up, you can do a V-tuck. Try to start and finish in a hollow body position. Don't just flop on the floor like a fish. 